And what we're going to do, we're going to set our canvas to landscape and we're going to go in ahead in the middle of the page pretty much and we're going to start off with drawing our shell. So, you know, it does not have to be exactly the same, it is just the shell. So. Hmm. Okay. okay. I'm gonna do it with my pen because I don't know how well you guys can see it. So we're gonna start off our drawing with doing our shell. So this is going pretty much in the middle of the page. With then going to do a nice little curvy bit for the bottom of our shell. Going all the way around. So it almost looks like a little pie, like the top of a pie. Um, and then we're going to go in and do the back feet. So they're pretty much just like strange little flippers. So we're going to do one there and one up here. Now we're going to do the next arm. So few little points going out like that and then it's going all the way back to that back leg And if you notice as well, it's not entirely straight. So over here, it becomes like a little bit, almost like bumpy. Okay. If you guys need to take a pause and catch up to this point, feel free to do so. And if not, we're going to now carry on with the other leg and the neck. So, we might start off and do our neck first. So, pretty much straight on either side for about an inch. An inch in the top, a couple inches at the bottom. And this neck is going to curve out a little bit. And we're going to create the head. Okay, so I'm going to try and explain what our head and our armour meant to be looking like. So you guys don't need to draw this. You can if you, it might help you a little bit. But so neck, we're pretty much making a rectangle. And then we're also making a, another rectangle here. So you see that it's literally rectangle and rectangle. 
then you can smooth it out. Everything's pretty much shaped, so. Now we can just add in our other leg or arm. <laughs> and that's just gonna sit over here. Okay. Now we can move on to the facial features. If so, I'm making more the cartoon version, uh, Crush from Nemo, one of my favorite childhood movies. Um, so this one's like gonna be a lot more exaggerated, but you can make it into a more realistic um, turtle by you know making the eyes smaller and the face more rounded. That will give you a more realistic appearance. So if you just had like quite a small eye. On either side so if you just had really small eyes right to the neck yeah so if yours was just a lot more curved and you kept the eyes small small you're gonna have a more realistic looking turtle but if you want to do um the cartoon you can do it this way so we'll start off with two circles and that'll be the eye pupil and then we're going to do the rest of the eye So he's got very crazy looking eyes that sort of come out on either side. And we've got to make those big eyelids so you can create almost like another circle going around. almost like eyebrow thing here I'm gonna make sure his nose is like a beak and then we're gonna do his classic smile so he's quite smiley here And do a little chin. Got the little dots on his head. Okay. Some wrinkles on the neck. If you guys want to pause and catch up to this bit, you can. Okay, we're now going to add the details onto our shell. So one of the first things we're going to do is go all the way around. And create this shape. You can just add a couple little reference marks. See how we've done the curves? So it's pretty much outlining the curves, uh, making them stand out a bit more. Then in the middle, we're going to add, I think it's a hectare. No, never mind. You can kind of it, just add your shapes here. I mean, all turtles have got different variants of shapes. So it doesn't have to be 
is exact. So yeah, you can draw on your patterns. I'm just going to make this sort of pattern. Okay, and you guys can take a bit of time, do your patterns, and you can even add more, whatever you feel like. And yeah, we'll take a pause and finish up our drawings, and then we'll move on to painting. Okay, so we're now going to have a look at our colour palette and mix up the colours of what we're going to be working with today. So, we need to make some brown if you don't have brown already. And to do that, you just grab your red paint and your green paint and you mix it together. And that'll make a lovely brown. You then want to go next to it and mix in some white and make a light brown. So you have those two nice shades of brown. And we'll use those colours a little bit later on. And then the next colour we want to do is for our head and back fins and the neck is that really pasty colour. It's really hard to explain actually. But yeah, you get grab your white and you can just grab a little dab of that brown and mix it into your white. And then you want to grab some yellow, put some yellow in. Maybe even a tiny dot of blue. I would say this colour is probably beige. But yeah, this is a colour. And again, to mix this colour, you're using white, tiny dot of brown, yellow. and a dot of blue. Okay. So on our color palette, we should have the primary colors, which is red, blue, and yellow. We should also have white and black. If you have brown, you should definitely should have the brown out or I'll explain how we can make brown paint. Okay, we're going to start off our painting by doing the, um, the face, the neck, uh, the back arms, and legs in that nice beige colour we created. So we're going to grab our beige and we're going to just go around and paint the whole thing. some water. Okay. 
to carry on with carrying on with my beige. Kind of once we've coloured in all of our basic areas like this, we're then gonna grab pure white paint and we're gonna add the white highlights onto each area. So at the on the island eyelid, we're just gonna go on ahead and add our white above it on either eyelid and then also on the snout here and it goes around the mouth and on that jaw as well going all the way around the head. And what we're going to do is we're going to blend this white out. So if you notice here on the beak, I'm not doing it all the way to the end, I'm leaving a bit of that darkness. I'm just having the white in the middle. That creates a bit more of a 3D effect. Okay, and then at the top of the head, we really want to get that white all the way around. You can then go back to your beige. Actually, if you guys need to catch up to this bit, do take a pause. You can go back to your browns and your beige. And we can go back in there and add our shadows. So we're going in now with the brown. We've got our eyelid here. And pretend an eyebrow lives there, an eye lives there, eyelid. So in between the space, it's almost like eyeshadow. We're making this nice dark area here. Of the eye. And that's going to go all the way down. Around. Then 
you can blend that out. You can do that on either side. And then we're going to do more shadows. So just along the edge. And you can create some wrinkles because they're very wrinkly creatures okay so when we smile we have a smile line that wrinkle that goes from your nose to your mouth so because our turtle here is smiling, we're also going to give him a wrinkle, a smile line. You can also add some more shading at the bottom of his face. And we want to blend everything. If your shape isn't quite right on your head, you can also add to it and change the shape a little bit. So we want to make sure that our head has got a nice big curve at the top. And then the eye, we've also got another curve and that curve is coming out. We've got the snout. And then the chin. That is the overall shape. We can now go in, into that face with pure brown. You might want to make it a little bit darker so you can get your brown and add a touch of black, like literally a little tiny drop of black makes that dark brown. And you can add the dots to his head. We can also get that dark brown and colour in his eyes. You can even use that dark brown to make the wrinkles even darker. You can then switch over to a smaller paintbrush and we are going to colour in our eyes. So we'll go in with pure white, make sure your paintbrush is super clean and just around the edges we're going to paint those little white triangles. So it's quite similar to human eyes. Ooh, mix of brown. 
down into that. So on the other eye on this side, we're not going to add the white over here, we're only adding white to the far side. You can then go in with your white highlight if you wanted to, just add little white highlights around the face. You don't have to, but you can add white texture. If you need to pause, do take a pause. Next thing I'm going to do for the face is I'm going to go in with my pure black paint and a small paintbrush and I am going to go in and add detail onto the eye. So I'm going to just paint in the pupil here and I'm also going to make a really big pupil. side and then I'm going to line the eyes so this is the thing that sort of brings it to look more like a cartoon is lining eyes and making it really dramatic like that. On the other end, you can have a little lash or two. And then I'm gonna go in with that black and also paint his little mouth. Looking at mine, I've just realised I might have made his under eye there a bit too dark, but everything's always fixable, so I'm just going to go in with some beige. A bit of brown. And I'm just showing this because I'm just showing everything is fixable. You don't ever need to worry about painting, you can just fix it. And that is our face pretty much done. It looks slightly terrifying, but it's one of those things of you've got to trust the process, you know? I mean, I've done so many paintings that look really, really horrendous while, you know, you're just beginning to paint them. But it takes a while for the rest of the painting to be finished. And then you're like, oh, yeah, that looks really good. You know, and a lot of people struggle with painting and stuff and don't like painting because of the beginning part you know when the painting looks bad and they just give up but that's not what art's about you know you've got to push through and all paintings look bad at the beginning but you know you just got to crack on with it and trust the process so yeah if you need to pause please do pause make sure everyone's caught up to this 
point and if not we'll move on to the next section which is painting the neck okay for painting the neck we are going to be going in and adding wrinkles so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go in for a brown and we're adding all these little lines okay and then we need to do the opposite so arrow's gone about light and dark we then go in with white paint and in the middle of these browns we put the white that and then blend the two together so blending you want to make sure you have a clean paintbrush dip into water make sure it's wet and then you go like back and forth and you blend the two together oh we can see those nice little wrinkles going around you might want to go back in and go in again for dark and maybe go in with your beige And just do a nice bit of blending. Okay. You can then go in with your dark browns and you could start painting the Fins. So I'm going to add a bit of shading under each one. So I'm just going to go in for brown and colour it in a little bit. And I'm just going to go in and add lots of little splodges. So I'm going in with that brown at the top making it really 3D because if you have something in the back it creates that shadow so we're creating that shadow right you know if you need to make your brown darker add a bit of black to it And then we're going in with our splodges. You can also add a bit of a bit of an outline to it as well. 